Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a party prep video for you guys. Most of you know that Blaze just turned a year old and someone asked in his 11 month update if I would do a shop with me for his party. But I bought everything online so I thought a good way to do it would be to just show you guys as we were setting up, show you all the products that I bought and just the whole process because party planning is a whole lot and I found some really good shops on Etsy that I absolutely love. So I thought it'd be good to link everything for you guys in the description box below and just give you my review of everything and just share this whole process. So hopefully you guys get some good ideas. So when you plan your next party, you will know some places to go, some things to do and some things not to do. Here I'm just starting to assemble the balloon garland that I got off of Amazon. It was a 100 piece kit and it was about $14 and I absolutely loved it. It was super easy to put together and it comes with everything you need. It has the little strip to assemble them all together which is way easier than doing the fish wire trick and doing it yourself so the only thing we had a hard time with was actually hanging it because for that you do need some kind of wire or command strips so we actually just used clear wire with some thumbtacks and we made sure it was really secure but I will be doing this for every party that I throw because I really just feel like it adds something to the party and it just looks really professional. So pretty much all of my inspiration for this party came from Pinterest and one of the things I wanted was a table that could have a few things on it right as you walked down the stairs. I had crowns set out so that people could put them on as little party favor hats and then I had the Where the Wild Things Are book so that people could sign it as a guest book and Blaze would know who came to his party as he grows up and we read it. And then I also had a time capsule station where people could write letters to Blaze and he can open them on his 18th birthday. So this little table worked out really well. So in our main party area, I wanted to have a centerpiece table where I could display the cake and cookies and a few decorations that would just draw everyone's eye, but also not go overboard. And I found this confetti on Etsy and I absolutely loved it. It gave it that pop that this table needed, but it also just wasn't too much. And it came with three different designs. It has the wild one gold crown. It has a little circle that says wild one and then it also has the number one and the problem that I had when I started looking up decorations for this theme which is wild one everything was black and gold and I really wanted to have it be blue and gold with splashes of white and maybe some black accents as well but I wanted navy to be the main thing so I had to get almost everything customized which took forever to find people that would do that but this lady customized these for me and I seriously am so obsessed. Now we're putting up the high chair banner, which was the first thing that I bought. I spent hours and hours trying to find a blue and gold banner and I could not find one. So this lady actually completely custom made this for me based on three different banners from her shop. So I highly recommend going to her. She is absolutely amazing and I was obsessed with this banner. So the backdrop that you see here, my father-in-law actually made for my wedding and it lights up and it looks so great. I just wanted a simple banner to go on this to tie everything together and I was able to make the font the navy color so that it matched with everything and I seriously was so in love with how this looked, especially when everything was all lit up. I even got a matching one that says one wild year and we put that on the wall with the balloon garland and it looked perfect for people to take pictures with blaze and we also actually put his high chair underneath it for the cake smash and it is seriously so cute but again i will add pictures of that at the end So 
So a good chunk of the footage that I had of us setting things up was actually unusable, but honestly that's okay. I think you guys get the gist. So now I'm just going to take you on a walkthrough of everything and what it all looked like at the end and kind of tell you some details about everything else. So here is what the little entryway table with the party favor crowns, the guest book, and the time capsule looked like. We actually put the gifts on either side of the table and we switched out the tablecloth to a white tablecloth which I thought looked really good because we had all of the black frames on it with all the little sayings and I will link those below where I got them but I love them. We also decided to add a little personal touch and we put this frame behind it with all of the pictures of Blaze throughout the year and it got me so emotional but I seriously loved how this table turned out. I thought it was a great little welcome to the party. So right as you walked into the main party area, we had Blaze's high chair set up with some additional balloons left over from the balloon garland. My mom made him this little stat board with all of his stats on it. We also had the first year picture progression with the pictures from each month. And then we had one of my favorite things and we wanted to have a little keepsake that we could put in his room afterwards. So we found this block set that said Blaze, King of All the Wild Things, and I absolutely loved this. We also put another sign that had the saying from a book, and then also Blaze's little party favor hat for some additional decoration while he wasn't wearing it. Here we have the main focal point of the whole party, and I am so obsessed with how it all turned out. We had the confetti, we had two more signs that were printed out that had little sayings from the book. We had custom cookies, the cakes, and the cute little cake toppers that I also bought from Etsy. And we had balloons on either side of the table. And I honestly just am so happy with how everything turned out. The cake was amazing, the cookies were super cute, and I just am obsessed. Here is a final look at the wall with the balloon garland and the additional banner and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got a few good ideas for your next party. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.